The world is going to tempt you to walk in the way of Maya, to walk in the way of everybody else. That how can I act in such a way to please others? What can I do for those Instagram follows? What part of myself should I sell that I may be accepted in this false world? These are questions that sound so stupid upon our tongues, but yet we act as if those are the questions that we're trying to fulfill every day. Let's think about where we go from our dad love. Are we going to go to a banqueting hall and throw away everything that Guru Sahib has given us? What foundation is that? Can you imagine waking up the day after your love? You're hungover, your wife's hungover, your whole family's hungover because of all of the, everything you've balad. Where's the blessings? Where's the sikhya in that? Have the courage to stand up and say, yo, I'm getting married. I don't want to be ruining my guests. I want to be blessing them. I don't want to be starting my journey from a place of falsehood, having poisoning a whole bunch of people. If you let me have them to be blessed. Let it be that as we get married before the Guru, we're not worried about the angle of the photographer, but we're worried about the angle of the ladle as we shakar our guests langar. Sohi Mahalla Chautha So this Shabbat is brought to us from the heavens by Guru Ram Das Ji in Raga Suhi. Suhi comes from the word Suha. Suha is the color of that Kasamba plant which comes in bright red. Gyanikit Pindarbal Singh Ji explains to us that Raga Suhi is the Raga of Milab, the, the Raga of joining. So it's fitting as we come together with our husband Lord as we come together as soul brides that we are thinking of that merging with Paramatma Vaheguru that Guru Sahib has sanad this Shabbat to us in Rag Suhi which for the context brings to the mind the bright red colour of a bride's wedding dress traditionally a bride would be dressed in beautiful red clothes as they are expressing their happiness their excitement of meeting their husband Lord and so it's brought to us in Raag Suhi, in this Raag of Milap Ahanji. So Guru Maharaj is starting the Shabbat with Har. And oftentimes we overlook this. But as I was doing the Khoj, the research, it was taught to me again like a stick, a danda across, a slap across the face. We don't forget Har Pehlari Lav, that these Lav have come from Hari. This isn't just a, anything else. This is the words of God. Guru Maharaj explains to us, As the words have come to me from the Lord, from that forgiving Lord who forgives all of our mistakes, That is how I have spoken. In other words, Guru Maharaj explained to us in modern times, will say, it is as it is. This is as God has spoken to me and as I am reciting these words into this world. Har. Har. These words come from Paramatma Vaheguru. Hariya Pariya, that one who is part and parcel of every part of creation. Let's remind ourselves, Hari is a reference to that Lord who is part and parcel of who we are and everything around us. That we should ever feel alone. No, because Har. That central aspect of the Vaheguru Mantra, Vahe, Har, Hariya Pariya, that one who is part of us always, we are never on our own. Har Pehlari Lav. That this first love is brought to us from that Paramatma Vaheguru. What does love mean? Love has four different meanings. The primary meaning is Parkarma, to encircle, to go around. When we see the soul brides and the when we see the sings and the singanias, sitting before Maharaj as they're wed, what do we see them do? We see them stand and walk in a circle four times around Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj, around Guru Ram Das Ji Maharaj. This Parkarma has such a beautiful truth. What we are saying is Guru Maharaj, you are the center of our life. You are the sun. You are the giver of all light and energy. You are the one that completely illuminates us. And so we encircle you. We are saying to Maharaj that whilst it's our wedding day, we put the word wedding day in inverted commas between a husband and wife, we face not each other, but even in our day of union. Whilst the DVDs might say Hajit weds Sanjay, <laughs> this wedding is actually about you Maharaj. This is about us 
facing you and in our tag team of the rest of our lives be maraj may we dedicate ourselves to you together we shall do this for we undertake the parakrama together but actually this wedding if even on our wedding day to each other is actually about you let us not forget this guru pyari sad sangat ji for whilst that wedding is taking place that second type of wedding of a husband and a wife for the gurmukhs as they sit before maharaj they are ever having that asra to wake from this world to, to, to become jagyasus that both of them can be blessed to have that true wedding that true union with paramatma wahi guru you see these char lava in amir pandar as we just mentioned is about merging with god and in response to that jagyasus request guru ramdas ji said i will bring forth these char lava these four lava represent the four stages in spiritual awakening santaka marg taram ki pori kovad pagi pae that the sants they walk the foot the steps of waking from this world by the great good fortune of the lord and so these four lava these char lava actually represent the steps that we undertake to become one with god and as we shall learn in a few moments what that very first step which is what we're going to go through today and this very first lav is about this very first step that we undertake in spiritual awakening so the first meaning of lav is par karma another teaching that maharaj gives us is pumika pumika means step and as we've just heard these four lav aren't just encirclements of themselves they are also the four steps that we undertake in spiritual awakening Another meaning of love is lagan. Lagan meaning to jod with. And now it's making more sense. What who are we joding with? Perhaps before we started undertaking this vichar we would have the question mark, but now there can be no doubt. That lagan is between ourselves and the shabad. Guru Pyari Sat Sangat ji. The sids came to Guru Nanak Dev ji Maharaj and they say to Guru Nanak, "Tera tera kavan guru jis ka tu challa." tera kavan guru jis ka tu challa who is it that is your guru and guru nanak dev ji replies during that conversation shabad guru surat tu challa that the shabad guru upon whom i place my my total focus that that is the guru this par karma that we undertake is around guru granth sahib ji maharaj for they are our, our guru just as they are the guru of guru nanak dev ji maharaj So we do par karma we do pumika towards and we have lagan with Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj and in this way we can take the meanings of love there are many more but because of time constraints and this history this shabad has be ant uncountable meanings we're going to have to move on han ji par virti karm draraya Maharaj explains in the first step of marriage of our souls with paramatma vai guru in our union with our partner is pravritti karam we have to have that indraraya within us pravritti means pavitra we can say pavitra meaning pure and holy karam can karam in this context karam has many different meanings in sik in gurbani in this context karam means actions pravritti karam indraraya we have to drid within us we have to instill within us be firm with the notion that we're going to have pure actions that we're going to commit to a pure way of life guru maharaj is explaining to us that this first love sant hari singh ji explains in gurbani arth bandar that in this first love as we get married we have to have something called shubh ichha shubh ichha means have a pure intention that i'm going to bring about change in my life and this i found so comforting as we undertook the itihas guru maharaj is explaining to us be have a desire in your mind to bring about change in your life and for me that brought about emotions of hope and courage what do i mean by this because often times we think because of the lives we've lived that there's no future for us in a dharmic way that in the house of the guru it's only reserved for those great saints who are completely unblemished but maharaj is explaining that we can undertake a spiritual journey towards oneness with god and the very first thing we have to do 
is something which we can all do and have with which is just to have within our minds a desire to have a shubh icha to have a positive change within our own minds this is something that we can all do no matter where we are maharaj is not saying at the first stage right come to me with four a's and i'll let you in maharaj is saying to us it doesn't matter what you've done all you have to do is have a desire to make progress and i just thought that was so beautiful and so humbling that this path is a path for all of us no matter where we have come from or what we have done if we look at our history there are stories of those that have committed the unspeakable that have come into the sanctuary of guru nanak dev ji maharaj and maharaj has not looked at their shortcomings but they've blessed them that their future is not a reflection of their past we hear of sajan thug who would take people into their house and he would cut their throats in the night and rob them and yet when they would fall at the charan of guru nanak dev ji maharaj saying yo you know who i am and what i have done maharaj would set them on a path that would make them one with the lord whose praises we sing today in the house of the guru so this first step of four in spiritually awakening in merging with your husband lord is about having shubh icha this desire to do something positive han ji bal ram ji yo guru maharaj explains to us that if we've got a little bit of doubt be yeah amandeep singh i hear what you're saying but you don't know what i have done you don't know my history jet if you knew what i had done then you'd be saying to me something different as we perhaps are reflecting be theek ya i hear what you're saying but you don't know what papa have committed what history you have come from maharaj explained to us be forget not who you're talking about whose power you should be questioning be nobody is beyond saving bal ram ji ho bal meaning that strength of that lord ram in other words that one from whom all strength emanates is bal ram ji ho forget not that whatever you think you are whatever things whatever knots you might have tied through your past be maharaj can break them all dharm rai tar kagat phare jan nanak lekha samjha that by the blessings guru ramdas ji maharaj explains to us whatever your past is by the blessings of the guru if you walk this path that whatever written history that you've got tar kagat phare maharaj can rip all of that lekha up you can be put from wrong to right kach pakai othe pai in this place where guru nanak dev ji is all powerful that whatever kacha past you've come from whatever half baked past we might have come from kach pakai othe pai maharaj can make you pakka in their own light not through your own efforts but by the blessings of guru sahib kach pakai othe pai maharaj explaining to us bal ram ji yo in this way remember who you speak of as you think of your own shortcomings being so strong that there is one stronger still who can pull you with love towards their heart and embrace you guru pyari sat sangat ji this is not a game of ego when we speak of our shortcomings in our past guru maharaj explained to us that whatever you are wherever you've come from nothing is beyond the strength of that one who can undo all balaram ji han ji bani brahma ved bani brahma ved maharaj is explaining to us that in the past knowledge was inaccessible because the vedas the char veda of a so voluminous so complex that nobody could access them but guru maharaj is explaining to us that we haven't got to go to the vedas we haven't got to go to the bani of Bre- we haven't got to go to the words of brahma that rig veda which is so complex and so lengthy maharaj explained to us all we have to do is go to the shabad of the guru bani sade is all that we need while the world is going to the vedas we have the bani of the guru bani brahma ved and what is it that the bani speaks of what is it in any ca- in any case that the vedas speak of it's only fitting for gurbani given what we've just said to give us the teachings han ji taram drad ho maharaj explaining bhi taram drad ho that in your life instill taram the world is going to tempt you the world is going to tempt you to walk in the way of maya to walk in the way of everybody else that how can i act in such a way to please others what can i do for those instagram follows what part of myself should i sell that i may be accepted in this false world these are questions that sound so stupid upon our tongues but yet we act as if those are the questions that we're trying to fulfill every day 
We live in a way that suggests we're living to fulfill those questions. What can I do to obtain those likes? What can I do? What, what part of myself should I sell? And Maharaj explained to us, be taram drado. Become pakka in your taram. Stand with good footings. We know from a martial aspect that when we practice vidya to save us from persecution, that vidya, that sword from which our taram has been born, that history from whom our ancestors have shown us the way of the sword, that our pantara, that our footwork is what's going to save us. In a spiritual context, we want to stay on our feet too. In a spiritual context, we need to have that pantara. That pantara for us is taram. This is what keeps us upright in a spiritual context. Maharaj explaining to us, be taram drado. Have stillness within you. Why is it so important to state something so obvious? Because whilst it's obvious in the company of the Guru Sangat, because our mind is here, in the world, people are selling themselves. People really are. Bhagat Gabiji explains to us, Kabir Deen Guvaya Duni Syo Duni Na Chale Saat Pai Kuhara Maria Gaafal Apne Haat Bhagat Gabiji says that Deen, our Taram, Guvaya, we're forgetting who we are. Deen Guvaya Duni Syo for the world. We're forgetting who we are because of the world. We're trying to fall in love with the world. We're forgetting who we are in our Taram. We're selling ourselves. Duni Na Chale Saat But be careful says Guru Maharaj, be duni na chali sar, this dunya won't go with us. None of those followers are really going to follow us when it matters. Even in this world we know this to be true. People are getting cancelled all the time. Where are all the followers then? Sukh mein bo sangi pahi, dukh mein sang na koi. In times of this sukh, in this worldly false sense, sukh mein bo sangi pahi, there's many that want to hang around us. Dukh mein but when the time comes to be questioned for who we are. So Bhagat Kabiji explained to us, Deen Guvaya Dunisyo, we're selling ourselves, we're forgetting who we are. And in this way, Dunina Chali Saat, that there's no Saat, that there's no support from this Dunia. Let's think about who we are getting dressed up for in the morning. Let's think about who we are posting for throughout the day. Guru Pyari Saad Sangat Ji. If we're going to sell ourselves to anybody, Guru Maharaj gives us the perfect companion, the perfect shopkeeper. Man beche sadguru ke paas tis sevak ke karajras. Maharaj explains to us through their own example because that's the way of the Guru, man. Guru Sahib doesn't tell us what to do, they do it and they'll be following their example. Man beche sadguru ke paas. Maharaj is saying, I sell my mind to the Guru. Sadhguru ke paas. There's no direct translation in Punjabi or English to Sadhguru ke paas. Apne kol. By your side. By you. In other words, Maharaj, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> I'm going to place myself only by your side. Man beche Sadhguru ke paas kyo. Because you're the one that will arrange all of my affairs. I don't need any other followers. I follow you. In this way, Guru Sahib explained to us, don't sell yourself short. Taram dirado. Have that self-respect to say, yo, I live for the Guru. Guru Pyari Saad Sangat Ji, I remember at university keeping my case. I remember before going to college and I had a short back and sides, I had like a crop waved number side steps in, a little bit of a quiff flicked up with a bit of shock waves. And I have no shame in saying this now. Perhaps a little bit of shame in saying this now, but I was living to satisfy others. It was purely about ref representing what the standard had been projected outwardly, either by the opposite gender or by the lads at the library in the middle building in between the classrooms. But no matter what you did, none of that would be everlasting. But I remember going to a university which was 90% a different, different um, dharam. I went to university in Queen Mary's in Whitechapel. And I remember keeping my guess, wondering what people are going to say, what my friends are going to say. And I'll tell you one thing, Guru Pyari Saad Sangat Ji. Having the support of the Sangat and keeping my guess. Deen Guvaya Duni Syo, Duni Na Chali Saat. When you show that strength in whichever, uh, whichever test you get presented with, 
the world follows strength. If you can stand up to those that you're sitting with, who have presented you a certain way of life, even without speaking, and go, listen, I don't really care. I'm with my guru. When you demonstrate your strength, that quality is one which will emanate through you and it actually commands respect. And what you fear losing will fall at your feet. As you conquer your mind, Maharaj explains to us, we've heard it before, let's hear it anew. As you conquer your mind, Atma jane sagal vastake everything comes within your control and i remember keeping my gears and going to university thinking what and i just remember being so shocked about how much praise and kindness people were saying to me oh we res- really really respect you for doing this and it was quite shocking because it was my own fear that was holding me back and in reality the world will always respect where there's strength and it's when you can do that and move forward not just to be clear guru pyari satsang ji i'm not worthy of any praise i'm not worthy at all i was just giving an example that someone as unworthy of me as me that from a place of fear i was unwilling to take a step forward but actually the fear was in my own mind we build such a house of haunted ghosts on a false set of assumptions be if you take that step forward and forget people around you those same people that you were longing to have their approval of they for people follow strength they follow leaders and in this way you'll be so presently surprised that actually as you become the best version of yourself those around you who you longed for you'll no longer need that praise from them and in fact as time will present itself you will find that they need you for its leaders and strength that people follow and those that can have the strength in a dark age to shine bright they don't need anybody else deen gwaya dunisyo don't sell yourself drid karo taram drado in this way coming back to lava be taram drado be be pakka in your taram have that respect have that respect for yourself be yeah i come from kings we are come from queens don't sell yourself to anybody for any price for you are beyond anyone's value there's no one that can put a price on your head especially as we get ready in the morning look and say this isn't coming from a place of ego guru pyari sadhanga ji this is coming from our history if we are not the children of kings then who are we if we are not the daughters of kings and queens then who do we regard ourselves of it's about time that we start that we start living for our true purpose and we give up the need to beg to be accepted by others that in reality as we become who we really are inside we taram dar do in this way naturally not because you want it but naturally everything will fall in line han ji paap it jaya guru maharaj explains to us we taram dar do that when you become pakka in your taram when you become righteous in your way of being paap it jaya and then that 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 all of that dirt all of that mail that was holding you back the jaya will start to fall away this is so beautiful guru pyari satsang ji because our minds are what holds us back our minds we just spoke about the fears that i had at university about what it would be like keeping my gears be what are my friends going to say and it's that mind that holds us back but that mind is only holding us back because it's polluted it's corrupted by what it thinks is right based on a false distorted view of the world the mind is trying to follow the world how can it guide us to a right place when it's being guided by the world in the first instance and so what is that dirt in the mind is that pap so pap the jaya our mind start to become clear and that which we're a slave to now becomes a sharp tool and that mind which is guided in a false sense because it's corrupted because of the dirt within it as that starts to clear pap the jaya in this way that mind that we're a slave to now we can enslave the mind and we can direct it be yo this is what i want to do mind you work for me din gwaya dunisyo be don't give up your taram for the sake of the world enslave your mind 
ਆਤਮ ਜਿਨੇ ਸਗਲ ਵਸ ਤਾ ਕੇ ਜਾ ਕਾ ਸਤਗੁਰੂ ਪੂਰਾ ਐਂਡ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਵਾਈ ਸਗਲ ਸਗਲ ਵਸ ਤਾ ਕੇ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਕਮਸ ਵਿਦ ਇਨ ਆਵਰ ਕੰਟਰੋਲ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਸੇਜ਼ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਅਪੀਅਰ ਟੂ ਰਿਪੀਟ ਥਿਮਸੈਲਵਸ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਪਾਲ ਰਾਮ ਜੀਓ ਗੁਰੂ ਪਿਆਰੀ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਵਾਈ ਵੀ ਵਾਕ ਇਨ ਦ ਪਾਥ ਆਫ ਵਨਸ ਵਿਦ ਗੋਡ ਐਂਡ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਰਿਮਾਈਂਡਸ ਅਸ ਨਾਓ ਬਟ ਨਾਓ ਥੀਸ ਵਰਡਸ ਆਰ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਬਲ ਰਾਮ ਜੀਓ ਦੈਟ ਵਨ ਹੂਸ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਯੂ ਸੀਕ ਵੈਨ ਯੂ ਸੈਲ ਯੂਰਸੈਲਫ ਟੂ ਦ ਲੋਰਡ balaram ji oh they are the one who is the source of strength so who are you when you walk that path guru pyari sad sangat ji you ascribe yourself to a medical course who are you you're a doctor you ascribe yourself to a course in dentistry who are you you're a dentist you ascribe yourself to the path the source of all strength be what's inside you what do we begin to realize be andro sab ko there is everything there balaram ji ho be oh balaram ji ho you are the one that is the source of strength that sent that source of strength is within me balaram ji ho balaram ji ho another art we can take from this balaram ji ho maharaj is explaining to us be bal is strength it comes from the root word balihar balihar means to be a sacrifice that lord that for a mother mother that husband lord that we're seeking out as our soul bride that is the one to whom we are a sacrifice balihar guru sahib is now telling us be a sacrifice to that lord who is the source of all strength so this path of completely being imbued with the strength of the lord how do we get this through being a sacrifice by selling our mind to the guru and in this way the guru is going to give us all the strength that we need to navigate through this world manne marg thak na pai sare japo ji manne marg thak na pai maharaj gives it to us every morning that if you believe in single mindedness be guru sahib mere naal ya i don't have to take any asra from anywhere else be manne apne if you if you believe in your mind be marg apne marg de vich apne raste de vich in your life in your path koi marg there will be no recovery there will be nothing within your way that cannot be removed there will be no obstacle cannot, that cannot be overcome manne marg thak na pai thak meaning recovered meaning on that path your marg there will be nothing that cannot be overcome because where do we draw the source of our ability to move forward balaram ji that one who is the source of all strength han ji tar mein drar ho har naam tyab ho maharaj explaining to us be tar mein drar ho that when you stay within your mind that yo i'm going to take a positive mindset to take a positive step in my life i don't care about this world anymore i've been flogging myself before this world and it's got me nowhere i'm just tired at this point be taram dar do for the third time now maharaj is saying to us be pakke rao apne taram de vich tusi pakke rao stay pakka within who you are what happens taram taram dar do har naam tiavo then you have the ability to sit down within the treasure of your own being har naam tiavo ho and you can do simran because why when you recognize that you can actually draw from that strength of the lord har naam tiavo ho and you start to move forward in a positive sense then you start to have that self respect and you can be in the company of your own self and feel comfortable guru pyari sad sangat ji sometimes we can't sit with our eyes closed and be in the company of ourselves because we have no self respect and the last person whose company we want to be in is our own and we think why can't i just sit down and close my eyes it, everyone i see these gurmukhs in the darbar and they got their eyes closed and they're still like a statue we why can't i do that guru pyari sad sangat ji when you have dharm in your life not coming from a place of ego but from a place of gratitude be aaj main kuch kita ya today i've given up whatever intoxicant it was today i've kept my gears today i've decided that i'm not living for the opposite gender when you have that pakka dharm you can st- you can sit up and you can look in the mirror have a little bit of self respect fair to see har naam te aavo ho then you can sit down in the company of your own self and not see demons within you Guru Pyari Sad Sangat Ji the reason we can't sit in our own company is because we lack that seva and people think that we have to constantly hurt ourselves and hate ourselves this isn't coming from a place of ego this is coming from a place of if we have those 
positive actions in our life through through dharam through doing that seva whatever it is that seva of our own being that we're not going to sell ourselves short we're not going to sell ourselves to the world what happens is that in so doing this you have that ability to sit in the company of yourself without saying i'm not good enough let's give ourselves a reason to be a bit contented if we're spent the night at nishkam swat in central london feeding the homeless and they're out every night feeding the homeless serving two and a half thousand meals a week if you spend all night serving the homeless and you have that contentment from within how do you think you're going to feel about yourself sitting in the company of yourself that evening for 10 minutes you'll find it to be very good company guru pyari sat sang ji you have the best sleep of your life if we incorporate a little bit of seva we have that restlessness because we know we should be doing something and that doing something which is lacking means that we can't sit but we think that when we go on a nike store and buy something that it will fulfill that desire it's not what we really need is to contain ourselves through seva through doing that seva becoming that little bit compassionate in this way har naam ti avo mara ji sang taram dro be pakka in your taram commit to something today that i'm going to do what might it be maybe we're going to commit to doing simran every morning for 11 minutes maybe we're going to commit to listening to japji sahib we're going to commit to memorizing lava divani guru pari sat sangat ji let's commit to something cuz maharaj is saying if you want to have simran in your life and we all want that gift be taram dro har naam ti avo and in this way you'll have that gift within you maharaj explaining to us that in this way we can give birth to taram guru pari sat sangat ji just to make the point again how is it that we can make have the power to do something positive in our life to have a taram dred within our life to be instilled with taram in our life guru nanak patsha explains to us that taram is born from daya maharaj explains to us that if you want taram in your life if you want something good in your life from your actions that you can call your treasure that whatever happens i do this be i don't eat meat i don't drink those substances that can consume my mind whatever taram we want in our life to give birth to this within us we have to have one mother for every every child is born from a mother maharaj explains to us a taul taram daya kaputa that if you want taram in your life if you want the ability to have that beautiful thing that you can treasure that will make you something beyond measure that will allow you to sit in the company of your own self and be yo this is a temple i can meditate here i'm okay right now within the company of my own self but we have to have daya and daya comes from doing seva santa maskin explains to us that if you want daya within your being do seva that if you want contentment within your own mind do simran for simran is the father apni contentment is the father and daya is the mother that's what santa maskin explains to us and in this way tarandrado har naam ti avo ho han ji simrit naam draraya that in this way be you'll be able to remember where you come from simrit to remember naam that you go beyond yourself na me na me naam asar vich naam da asar hai ga bhi when you go beyond yourself na me Draraya, you become completely aware that you're not who you think you are. That in fact, you remember your root where you come from. Man, tu jod sarup hai, apna mool pachan. Maharaj explains to us, you're not who you think you are. That deep within you is a light so bright that you can bring forth. How can you do this? This whole pankti is telling us the whole path. Be taram draro, become pakka in your taram. That forward-thinking intention to do something good and commit to it. and in this way you'll have the ability to sit in the temple of your own being har naam ti avo ho and in this way simrit naam draraya you can remember and you can be completely strong within your own self or putting it so much more beautifully than i ever could guru maharaj explains to us gyani ji did the shabad be thir kar baiso har jan pyare be thir this beautiful word in in gurumukhi there's no direct English translation thir means to be steadfast that no matter what force comes be thir no one's going to move you no part of this world is going to make you give up that which you have as your honor that chunni that we have 
which is a reflection of our self-respect that is given to say that you are going to hold the respect of your household when you get married that's what the whole Juni ceremony is about we've forgotten it's about saying you are now the one that is going to hold the honor of our house as you come into as a daughter comes into the new house she's given that Juni and that is representative of nothing more but everything within that saying you are the holder of the honor of our house bear this be tarandrado be pakka in your taram don't sell yourself tarandrado har naam tiya boho simrat naam dardaya there's so much more but because of time constraints we're going to have to move forward hanji sat gor gor pura aradh ho maharaj explained to us that in this first love be sat gur gur pura aradho aradho such a beautiful word everybody intuitively your gurbani is so beautiful man you can never understand gurbani but intuitively because of it being the source of creation you can just intuitively instinctively know with no effort what the word means as i tell you the word aradho means to worship sara japo aradho 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 you'll know intuitively that something stirs within you be maharaj explaining sat gur gur pura aradho ho maharaj explaining to us be worship your guru pura perfectly aradho ho guru pyari sat sang ji what does this mean that as we walk around guru granth sahib ji maharaj as we undertake parakarma what we're saying is maharaj you are our everything i forsake everything else as we spoke earlier man beche sat gur ke paas that i'm selling myself to you both soul brides both the husband and the wife are being married being wed towards guru sahib as they face maharaj what does this mean shouldn't be happening guru pyari sat sang ji we hear a lot of noise now about interfaith marriages about people from different faiths coming to the gurdwara marrying our sons marrying our daughters in the context of this darbar as we hear this much respect from the guru we think how but outside of this darbar we hear that and we say congratulations <laughs> because in the world we've sold our consciousness to the way of the world and everyone's smiling and clapping and so we smile and clap along too but in the parkaran of the guru as we sit before the guru we think how maharaj is saying sat guru guru pura aradho be when you come before the guru you're doing that parkarma we don't give yourself anywhere else than the guru how can we explain this that this is acceptable it's not Guru Pyari Sat Sangha Ji, we come from a place of love but that doesn't mean that we should ever compromise who we are. We, have, we hear of instances of people from other faiths coming to the Gurdwara, bowing before the Guru and then going to another place of worship and undertaking a different ceremony there. No. Guru Gobi Sri Ji Maharaj's hukum, hukum their command, their order, the undying words of the Guru for which we should all die for is that you must only marry your daughter to a sek guru pyari satsang ji why do we feel so entitled to change the rules who are we in our own daily lives as we bend as we question as we break my dad my father plays golf he's quite good i think he's club champion i can't stand the game i haven't got the time for it, it makes me so angry i can't hit the ball and it makes me frustrate a different story for a different day He plays golf at the golf club which he goes to. It says no trainers. He goes, "I can't wear anything. I can't. I got I got why don't you just go in your trainers? Cuz I got to go and get my golf shoes. I got to up in the chair. Go put your trainers on and go play." Cuz no, 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 no. That's the rules of the house. No shorts, trousers. I got it's 35 degrees. Cuz that's the rules. Can't we're so pakka in minding the rules of the clubhouse. Of any clubhouse. When it comes to the gurus mariyada We all think it's up for debate. Why? Where is this poison snuck in from? This is the house of the King of Kings. Here we bow. And this is again, I say it this way because it's become acceptable now to question. I want to just share something with you that I just think so beautiful that perfectly illustrates the point. My older brother who's now left this world but he's still with us as he's merged with the feet of the guru pai jagrad singh ji my brother i loved him i love him so much he was perhaps in my opinion the most influential sec of my generation the fact that is up for debate is enough for the point i'm going to make 
and he would teach us and the way that he would do sikya is perhaps the way that set the standard now for Sikh across the world even in Punjab to follow that example on the basics of Sikhi what he's done nobody in this world had done before except sorry except those great Mahapuruks of the Tiksal Gani Gurbachan Singh those great Mahapuruks that have come in the 60s and 70s I shouldn't have compared that way but I think you understand the point I'm trying to make and he was at a university where somebody brought this topic up about mixed race marriages and the question was asked the, what do you think about Muslims getting married in the Gordala? What do you think about Hindus getting married in the Gordala to Sikhs? He's a person who is, in my opinion, the most influential person. He's dedicated his life. Oxford graduate, gave up a £200,000, £300,000 potential salary earnings, yeah? Which is probably the average from that university, to work for the Pant as a servant, essentially. Hana? So he's a person, in my opinion, that's entitled to an opinion. He's a person who's earned the right to say, this is what I think. But here's a Pyara Gurmuk, what does he say? He gets asked the question, what do you think about interfaith marriages? And Pai Jagarad Singh says in front of thousands, and you can watch the video, you can type in interfaith marriages six, makes, and it just brought, it brought tears to my eyes, man. Halavi just, he said, he, what he said, he said this. With respect, Benji, because it was a sister that asked the question, she goes, you're asking me this question, but I don't care about my opinion, and why should you? But my opinion means nothing. I'm only here to share with you the Guru's mat, not mine. And in that, all of the ego we just broke, man. It's like, who are we, man? We've come to this place in our minds where we think we're entitled to an opinion. We're not entitled to an opinion. In the Guru's house, we're supposed to put our mat at the floor. That's why we put our head before the Guru. We are in a place of the source of humility. Because the Guru is so humble and they're so loving, they've created such an environment, but that's not an environment for us to abuse. Just because it's the house of love, and it is the house of love, for where else is there a kitchen that knows no bounds that will feed it all for free, other than the house of love, right? But we should come here from a place of gratitude, not from a place of entitlement. And that goes to me too. And so, as we say these words, Sat Guru Gurpura Aradho, what we're saying is that we need to accept that this is the way of the Guru. Just because the Guru lowers themselves in their humility, because Nanak prays, Guru Nanak Pacha doesn't need to pray, they're teaching us the way. That Guru Nanak Pacha refers to themselves as the slave of the slave of the slaves, they are the king of the king of the kings. So, Maharaj is explaining to us be the way in the house of the Guru is that you should worship the Guru. Which is why only a Sikh can marry a Sikh. I'm going to say that again. Because this isn't my opinion. This is the rules of the Guru. This is the firman of Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj in the hukums. That you can only give your daughter to a Sikh. In the house of the Guru, it is only the Sikh that will marry a Sikh. And it makes sense too. For why would we encircle that one and do parkarma of that one? Why would we do laggan with that one that we have no intention to have lagatar with? No, this is, not a, this is not just a place of show, this is the place of jora, to journey within, to join with the Guru. And so, let's, it might hurt ourselves, but let's just be honest man, let's just be truthful and undertake a, a true union. Guru Pyari Sad Sangaji, if we start our union from a place of falsehood, what can we expect to grow from that? If our house is built from a foundation of falsehood, we've come here and undertaken a fraud, which is essentially what we're doing when we're pretending, we're saying Sat Guru Gurpura Araddo. You know, what is this? What of this? This is not really a question that needs to be asked. It's an embarrassment really of our own actions that have brought the need to explain this. But I thought clarification, clarification would be helpful here. Guru Pyari Sat Sangat Ji Tarandrado Haranamati Abo Simrat Namdradaya Sat Guru Gurpura Araddo Maharaj explains to us that we should worship the Guru. What does this mean? I was at a wedding last year and it was so beautiful. When we worship the Guru, what that means is we listen to the Guru, Sunanan. We believe in the Guru, we take those teachings within us, Mananan, and then we act upon the Guru's teachings, Nidhyasan. We take the Guru's teachings and we apply them in our lives. When we come onto this point of Pura Araddo, we're saying that we need to come to the Gurukar and we've got to take the teachings and instill them in our, in our hearts. 
And what we see is a situation where couples are coming to the Guru, getting blessings, and then that evening, we're hearing about parties with animals being sacrificed for guests and people getting so drunk and intoxicated that their minds are so far from the Guru. And what, what, are, we, what are we really doing? We're not doing that Sadhguru Gurpura Arado. As I was saying, I was at a wedding last year and it was so beautiful because the couple received Jar Lama Di Sikya from Maharaj. And at the wedding, they were blessed with Jar Lama and then they practiced that. What do I mean by this? The couple were downstairs and they were in the langar hall and they were vartaying langar to those guests that have come. In the kitchen of the Guru, they were practicing bhi tarandaro, har naamati avo, simrit naamadaraya. They'd had that teaching. Maharaj said to him, listen, tu si apne tarandavich pakke rao. Tarandaro, har naamati avo ho. Simrat Nam Daradaya, they remember where they came from. Where do they come from? They come from that free kitchen that they've been that have eaten out of every day of their life. And so they were down every day of coming into the Guru Kar, they'd been fed in the house of the Guru. So now it was their turn to serve the Guru's guests. That's what it means. Let's think about where we go from our dad love. Are we gonna go to a banqueting hall and throw away everything that Guru Sahib has given us? What foundation is that? Can you imagine waking up the day after your love? You're hungover, your wife's hungover, your whole family's hungover because of all of the, everything you've palad. Where's the blessings? Where's the sikya in that? Remember, one of the meanings of love is sikya. Guru Pyari Sad Sangaji, I was so humbled as I walked into the langar hall, seeing these two gurmukhs that were behind the counter, they were giving out prashad there, not worried about whether any atta was going to go on their, in, on their clothes, for that was amrit. That's the langar of the guru. They were tying the langar. Dalji, Kirji, not who cares about the photographer? There was no party. The party was in their hearts. That celebration was taken within their own being as they awoke. Let's think about what we're going to do at weddings going forward, man. Let's think about what we're going to do on our wedding day to celebrate that union. Are we going to go straight from the Guru Kar to the Langar Hall to Varta Langar? Or are we going to go somewhere else and poison everybody whose blessings we've sought throughout the day? It sounds so obvious to us now. But let's take this sikya within us that we can apply it outside in the world. Hanji. Sab kil vikh paap gawaya. Sab kil vikh paap gawaya. Taram dardo. Then when we take this taram within our own being, haranam ti avo, and we go on to worship the Lord, sad guru guru pura arado. Sab kil vikh paap gawaya. What happens? Those paap, the, all those deeds that we have done, all that paap is cut away from us. Gilavik is a specific type of paap that can never be forgiven in other tarams. Guru Maharaj explained to us, Sab Gilavik paapa gavaya will be forgotten. The worst of the worst things that we've done will be cut away from us and it will be taken away from our own beings. In other words, Guru Sahib will forgive us from those things that we thought we could never be forgiven of. Hanji. Sahaja Anand Hova Vad Pagi. Maharaj explains that when you do this, when you undertake this first prakaran of Guru Maharaj and have Shubh Icha, Sehej Anand Hua Vad Pagi, within your being, Sehej will start to come to be. You'll have such a place of stillness within you that you are going to be happy within the temple of your own being. Haramandar Eho Sarir Hai Gyan Ratan Pargat Hoi. Maharaj explains that Hari the Mandar, that Paramatma Vai Guru is within you. And through this gyan, through practicing this teaching, Haramandar Eho Sarirhe Gyan Ratan Pargathoi, and that gyan will start to, that ratan, that jewel will blossom forth, and will start to become alive. Sehej Anand, you'll be in such a state of bliss, you'll be like, yo, this is something else. And the Gurmukh speak of it. Sehej Anand Hua Vadabagi Hanji Man Har Har Mitha Laya. Maharaj speaks of Mitha. From the youngest of ages, we were tempted with mishri and small chocolate bars, little rollos. Now we eat big packets of rollos, big packets of mishri, big lumps of big, big servings of prasad. Nothing's changed. It's still that mitahas that we want. So what does Maharaj speak of mitahas? He says, anand hua bagi man har har mitha laya. That you, talk, you want a sweetness? You want something sweet? The sweetness that you'll experience in your mind will be beyond anything in this world. Guru Pyari Sad Sangha Ji, again, hearkening back to those teachings given to us by my older brother Bhai Jagrad Singh, he would say, this path is not to restrict you. 
It's not don't have a party. It's not don't drink alcohol. It's not don't eat meat. The real question is, do you want to be happy? Because those that do all of those things, you can speak of those as they're admitted to general facilities across the world for mental illness, having drunk more glasses than that, that you would think could ever quench your thirst, having eaten more meals than you think could ever satisfy that hunger, but still pains within. Meethe har gun gao, jintu. Tu meethe har gun gao. Mara says, no, 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 no. Taste the sweetness. Taste something so sweet that you will blossom forth. Satche seti ratiya miliyane thave thao. In this way you will merge with your Lord. Guru Pyari Satsangha Ji, Jagaraj will say this path of the Guru is not a restriction. It's not here to tie you up. It's actually a prescription to set you free. The question is not, do I want to have a party or not at my wedding? The question is not, do I want to serve alcohol or meat at my wedding? The question really is, do we want to come from a place within our own being that brings forth happiness, that brings forth a sweetness? And if that is the drive, Sehaj Anand will blossom forth in your being. Who doesn't want to be in a state of Sehaj? Sehaj Anand Hua Vadabagi. By great good fortune, Mana Har Har Meetalaya, this sweetness will be born forth. Satche Seti Ratiya Miliyane Thave Thao. And those ones who have no place in this world, they will find a place. Miliyane Thave Thao. That through our actions again, Guru Sahib is saying, don't think you're beyond, you're beyond this. Have the courage to stand up and say, yo, I'm getting married. I don't want to be ruining my guests. I want to be blessing them. I don't want to be starting my journey from a place of falsehood, having poisoning a whole bunch of people. If you let me have them to be blessed, let it be that as we get married before the Guru, we're not worried about the angle of the photographer, but we're worried about the angle of the ladle as we shakar our guests langar. Who cares about the photographer man? There's someone taking pictures of everything that we do. Everything is written and everything is being taken down of everything that we do. We don't need a wedding album. It will get snarled back to us at some point. Chitra and Gupta are making a note of everything that we do. I'm talking to myself. One time will come when that album is going to be presented to you. Be What are you going to say? How those, how you have served those that have come to bless you on your wedding day. So in this way, in this way, Maharaj is saying to us, you're going to taste something so sweet. This is not going to be something sour. It's not like when you go off chocolates and you go onto greens, you're like, this doesn't taste very nice. The sweetness which we're going to experience through undertaking a different way of life is going to bring such a sweetness into our being that we're going to be so blessed and we're going to be so happy that we're going to just be thinking, how could I have contemplated ever selling myself? Going back to what I spoke of earlier about keeping my guests. When I was at university and I was keeping my guests, those worries would give me nightmares. I would actually have nightmares about keeping my guests. Having been blessed by Guru Sahib to keep my guests, I remember that one day I had a nightmare that I cut my guests. And I woke up in the middle of the night thinking, oh, Maharaj Kirpana, thank you, Maharaj, you, you saved me. How can, how can your actions of doing something be so difficult that it would give you nightmares and then only a year or so later, the thought of doing that same thing would give you nightmares. Guru Pyari Saad Sangaji Sehaj Anand Hua Vadapagi Man Har Har Meethalaya In this way, that sweetness will be born forth. Hanji Jan Keh Naan Ke Laav Pahli Maharaj is explaining to us that this is the first step in spiritual awakening, Hanji. That it has begun. Maharaj explained to us that this is so exciting. The Maharaj has said to each and every one of us, doesn't matter who you are, what rock you have tied around your waist pulling you down, wherever you are, whatever you have done, you can undertake that first step in an instant. Be shub itcha. Apna mandavis to see socha karobi ajma kosh karanaya. Be tarandaro. From this moment, I'm going to have taram in my life. I'm going to commit to a tarami way of being. 
that I'm going to commit myself in such a way that allows me to be in the company of my own being and in this way have that shubh itcha don't be afraid have the courage to say yo I want to be happy I no longer care for the world's opinion for that is for sheep and we are the children of lions some of us are going to keep our gears some of us are going to give up whatever it is intoxicant wise as holding us back some of us by the blessings of guru maharaj are going to drink amrit by the blessings of the guru amrit pivo sada chir jivo har simrat anand anant and in this way we're going to feel such a bliss you need only the permission of one to be truly happy and that is the guru to whom we should sell ourselves for that one will give us such a price for who we are that we will realize that in fact we are priceless let's stop selling ourselves for anything short maharaj explained to us then in summary that this first love is about having shob ichha sant hari singh ji randave wale in gurbani arth pandar explains that this first love is about having shob ichha in your mind be aj mai kuch i'm going to do something that this wedding is not just going to be a show but it's going to be written in my heart from a place of love let's hope that from this guru's teachings we see more couples serving langar on their wedding days and less couples polluting the minds of those that whose blessings they have sent out invitations to come and seek the blessings of we must have spoken many mistakes nobody can speak truly of the guru shabad completely let's start learning about who we are i ask again for your forgiveness deho sajan assi sariya jo ho ve sahib syo mail wahe guru ji ka khalsa wahe guru ji ki fateh